guys, I'm John. Welcome back if you've been here before, and if you are brand new, then thank you so much for joining us. We'd love it if you would stick around and subscribe mm -hmm. for all of our future Disney content, and as well as the other little bits we sprinkle in. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, we've got a lot coming up. Yeah, so today <laughs> is another Disney restaurant review. Yes, we like these. Sorry. These are so fun to <laughs> yeah. remember, the places that we ate and what we thought about Absolutely, them. Absolutely, yeah, nice to go over, go over again and remember what we had, and yeah, you're right. So where are we reviewing today? We are doing it. Chef Art Homecoming. Mm -hmm. So yeah. this one was um, a pleasant surprise for me, so you will find that out as we go <laughs> through the categories. Um, but let's just get straight into it, shall okay, we? Okay, let's do it then. Okay. First, first one is location. Yeah, so um, the locations, we, we have <laughs> rated them, but it does seem a little odd. I think we've rated them for the sake yeah. of like... Mama Melrose and things like the that. The ones that are out of the way, but going through this, what we've done, it's really hard because every restaurant really is a good location, really. Yeah, so um, Chef Art's Homecoming is pretty much directly opposite um, Marimoto Asia. Yes. Which yeah. is a huge big building that you, you can't cannot miss. It. miss. Got a big sign on top of it, and I think it's lights up in the evenings, so you can't miss it. Yeah, and it's in <laughs> Disney Springs. Yeah. So yeah. you do have to cross a bridge to get there. Yep. Um, which is not fun for people like me who don't like bridges. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's not a scary bridge. No. Um, yeah, but it's really easy to find. Absolutely, you can't you can't complain. It's it's yeah, you can't miss it. If you know where more Asia is. You can't, you can't really miss it. Yeah, so we're gonna super quickly rate this one, I think. Yeah, I think, like, you yeah, said, we can't complain until it's gotta be a high for me. Same, five for <laughs> me as well. Okay, so atmosphere is next. Yeah, so, um, the atmosphere at Chef Art's Homecoming, I think for me, my main points is how relaxed and kind of casual Absolutely. it feels. Yeah, no, definitely. It, it, it feels like you going home and just, you know, going home to your mum and dad's and, just eat at a cupboard and just chill out. It's just, it's, it's, it's not posh. It's yeah. just, it's about the food. My mum and dad don't cook like that. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? It's, that is like Christmas Day where you just gorge on food and, and it's really relaxed and happy and, and chilled. Yeah, so um, the, the setup is there's a bar and then the restaurant section. Yeah, you got a bar and restaurant together. Um, what's really nice because you can have a, bit, a, a beer before you have dinner or afterwards. Um, yeah, it's on, on the water, isn't it? It's, it's next to the water, if it's outside. Yeah, um, and they've got some outside tables as well with outside heating, which, if it had been warmer, I think it was a particularly cold night when we were there. Yeah, yeah, no, I think we would have had outside if it was a warmer we day. We like to sit outside places, so we yeah. definitely would have used that. Um, yeah, so most of our points are just how friendly and relaxed, and you can see um, the the cooking stations are all open, you yeah. can see all of the chefs doing what the chefs do, which always makes me <laughs> less worried. I mean, I'm never really worried about Disney, but... I think we I think we think about England now uh, in that, because of yeah. Disney, you, you know it's going to be good anyway, but it's it's nice to see them working. I mean, the prime example is... um. No, Asia, Asia, but we Marimoto, went, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a big window where you can watch some, watch some cook, so yeah, that's good. Yeah, um, so, yeah, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> did you have any more points? Well, I think it's like a farmhouse feel, wasn't it, really? So, yeah, it's like a barn in England and, and sort of wooden and, and yeah. you know, open plan sort of, I don't know how to explain it, really, but it's all wooden farmhouse if you if you like. Yeah. You know, if, if, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, so I really liked the atmosphere. I liked how relaxed it was, especially like when you've got other restaurants like La Kelia yeah. and um, although those are signature, but you do have a lot of the restaurants in Disney where it does feel a little bit fancier, whereas this kind of feels like you can go in your park yeah, clothes. Absolutely. No one's gonna care. No, I think I think what they it, I think that's the flower. If I, I think it's like going home and and it's it, it I think it is like what it says in the the, 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 the Homecoming. The, yeah, it's all about just chilling out about food and and that rather than dressing up a bit. Yeah, so I give it a five for atmosphere. Yeah, I mean, I didn't. I went four point five, and I don't know why I knocked a five off, uh, the, the 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 half a point off. But I feel like I can't give it all five, all the categories, so I have to go four point five. Okay, <laughs> but it was really good. So our next category is food quality. Yes, go for it. Okay, so um. I found the quality of the food surprising actually. I'm not a big chicken eater, not no, really. No. I certainly don't really eat fried chicken. No. And I don't really like meat on the bone. No, so, so this place was <laughs> definitely a John place, wasn't it? It was the one that I picked. And if you, see, if you had watched these videos before, you, 
you would have known that I pick half and you pick half different restaurants. And yeah, it was the one I picked because it is my kind of food. I, I do like meat on a bone. I do like fried chicken. Um, yeah, so it was certainly the one that, that I was looking forward to. And it didn't disappoint me at all. Um, mm. For me, the only way I can describe it for if no one's been is KFC, but a million times better. You yeah, know? and and that and that's not take anything away from it because I love KFC, but but it does to does to describe the fried chicken, it, and it's a million times better than that. So don't think it's KFC because it's not. Yeah, it doesn't really taste like no. KFC, and the chicken is much crunch, more oh, crunchy. It, 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 and... It's the best fried chicken I've ever tasted in my life. It, it's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah, so I was really surprised at how much I did actually enjoy the fried chicken because I I like I said I don't really like fried chicken, but it was really really flavorful yeah. and. You know, the pieces were big, the bones were quite chunky, yeah. it's not like what tiny little bones. No, and I think that says a lot because you, like you say, you don't like it off the bone, you leave, you, you leave half the chicken around the bone. Yeah. you don't like eating off the bone. But this, you didn't really do that because you enjoyed it so much, so I think that tells a story for you really. Yeah, so all the food there as well is um, locally sourced. Yeah, that's really good. Which is nice. Yeah, they told us that as soon as we walked in, so, so that's really good. Yeah, and it's kind of like um, a lot of the menu. They did have fish and things like that on there, but a lot of their menu is like comfort food. Yeah, like definitely, definitely. Things that you want when you've got a hangover. <laughs> yeah. If that makes yeah. sense. Like, uh, yeah, just, uh, I think it's, I, I, I keep on saying it, but I think it's like a Christmas day sort of feel where you just want to fill yourself up from food and, 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 and you're not worried about, you know, mm -hmm. what it looks like. It's just all about the food. And um, on that, the portions are absolutely massive. Yeah, you are definitely not going to leave hungry. <laughs> no, I mean, you've probably seen on, on, on the videos before, but well, we mentioned it before, but the, the cake, what we had for dessert, was like a half, half cake itself, a slice. It was absolutely massive. Yeah. <laughs> One thing I do want to mention, because um, I think a, a lot of our viewers are from the UK as well. Yeah, we are. And, I know um, what <laughs> we, So we sat down and they give you the menu and we were looking through and we went with Chef Arts Fried Chicken. Or, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I can't remember. I did write down what it was called, actually. Art's Famous Fried Chicken yeah. is what we both yeah. went for. But on the menu was um, chicken and donuts. <laughs> so I thought, because in America, you you have or they have biscuits yeah. which aren't biscuits no. they're like well they are for you biscuits but for us they're kind of like they? no they're kind of yeah. dumpling -y. yeah so yeah. i thought well surely that's what's happening here they're not actual donuts <laughs> but it was yeah so i asked the waitress and i'm like what is this fried chicken and donuts yeah. and she was like well it's fried chicken and donuts yeah and i was like what like Sugar donut. If you see a photo of it, it's, it's actually do a donut. It's a donut. And fried chicken. I mean, that's 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 great. <laughs> I mean, what not to like about that? I mean, I, it's <laughs> a fun idea, but I don't understand it. I don't understand, <laughs> like, why? No. You would no. have a donut. Maybe maybe it is common in Florida. I think I think that's the point. I think it's food even type what they do, yeah. you know. We don't understand it because we yeah, the worst that would be a dessert or a snack a donut. A donut isn't. Food, like no, food. but you know, it's just one of the things that's, that's quirky. Well, we had fried chicken and mashed potato, and and that was stunning and, uh, and you know really nice. So and that's what we used to because it's 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 savoury rather than sweet. You know? Yeah, but if you guys do have donuts <laughs> with your chicken, then I'd love to hear about Absolutely. it. Absolutely, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm not knocking it. I mean, it's yeah, great. <laughs> yeah. So there were. Um, definitely tons of dessert options as well, all different kinds of cake. Yeah. Um, there were some specials. The one you had was a special one. Oh, I can't remember what it was, but... I'm pretty sure it was the hummingbird. It might have been, that's it. Yeah, I think it rings about. But all I can remember about a cake really is the size of it. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was absolutely massive. Yeah, and they did um, tons of cocktails. Yeah. Absolute of tons. And loads and loads of beer. Yeah, no, and, and you know, we go, we come to, onto it in a minute, but, it, but she spent... Our server spent time going through the, the, the beer list and so I get the one that I liked, so that was really, really good as well. Yeah, so on food quality then. Okay, food quality. Um, yeah, I mean, I rated it a five because you can't, you can't complain. It was, it was amazing, really nice. And I, I really rated it. it a four. Um, it was just the bones for me. And I think if you don't like fried chicken, 
and you try it and you yeah. still don't like fried chicken, there's not tons of other options. But then that's what the restaurant is. I, I think that's a fair, a fair score for you because yeah. it, we knew that before we went in and obviously you were presently surprised and I loved it, so. Yeah, yeah so moving on to customer service. Yes. Um. So the waitress, I can't remember her name. I'm pretty sure it was like Amber. I think you say because you said she it. had a really pretty autumn kind of name. Yeah. Um, which I think was Amber. <laughs> but um, she was very funny. Really funny. She was really good. Yeah. And she did help you a lot with your beer, didn't she? No, like I said just a minute ago. Yeah, she did. She. I'm. I'm quite fussy. I, I like the beer I like, and and not really then. So obviously I asked her which one she would recommend, and um, she kind of went through like what you normally drink, and yeah. then she recommended one. Yeah, she told you where you could buy it if you really liked absolutely, it. Absolutely, yeah. And she did say if I, see if I had it and I didn't like it, I'd send it back and obviously, you know, she won't be a problem. But no, I, I liked it and it wasn't a problem and she done a really good job of that. So yeah, really good. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I, I think for her, she was amazing, wasn't she? Yeah, she was. She kind of came over and um, we were nibbling at the, <laughs> what is it called? Like the fried chicken, the fried bit. I think you, the, the bat, not bat, is it? Is it Breadcrumbs, maybe? Or? Maybe. I don't know. We were kind of nibbling at that, and yeah. she came over and made a joke, and then... Oh, yeah, you're, you know when you're so full up, but you don't want to... You don't eat no more, but then you, it's so nice, you don't want to leave it as well. So we were just finished our meal and, and still nibbling. And, um, yeah, she, but she didn't bother us too much, what was, what was, what was good. Um, yeah. You know, she, she knew when to come over and not when not to come over, and I think that's a sign of a good sort of customer service, really. You know what... You know, watch your the tables that you're looking after, and know when to come over, and but not to. And yeah. She certainly had that down to the tea. Yeah, and just two <clears> quick <throat> other points. Um, we were seated straight away. We did. Yeah. We did book yeah. quite late for chef arts. Come on, what a time it was. I'm but... pretty sure it was nine. Okay. Yeah. No, it wasn't too busy, was it? it, it was no, quick... but then it was later on in the day because well, I think it does get very busy there. Yeah, I think the bar side was more busier than the mess side side when we went. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it, it, we didn't wait at all. And there were lots of staff around. We didn't need to because um, I'm just going to call her Amber. I'm pretty sure that was <laughs> it. Amber was so great. But um, had we have needed drinks or whatever, yeah. there was enough staff, staff around. You could just, excuse me, can I have a drink? Absolutely. Yeah, no, it, it was amazing. Yeah. So so the battery just died. So <laughs> if the angle has changed, that is why. <laughs> yeah. Um, but basically, I was just saying that I would give customer service a five out of five. Absolutely, I would also give it a five. There was no complaints at all from that. No, it was really, really nice. Yeah. Okay, so next up is theming. Yes. There wasn't too much to say about theming, um, apart from, I think it's really hard. We, we don't know what Freudian style is, really. So as far we only as, really know Disney. Yeah. So as far as that went, it, the restaurant was nice, and not heavily themed, but yeah. that's nice as well. Sometimes it, it, it felt more like I said, chilled out, just friendly atmosphere rather than theme heavily themed. If that makes sense. Yeah. So they've got like pictures up on the ceiling of yeah. like farms and like a Floridian farm, and I think the theme is supposed to be more Key West side, which we've never been yeah, to. Yeah. So, so that's, that's what we can sort of compare it to because we haven't been to the, the Key West, but yeah, that's what we, we think it's sort of based on. Yeah. For me, I would have liked a few more touches. Um, like once you're sat down, there's nothing really in the restaurant area that suggests no no so i would have liked maybe a little bit more but then i don't know what, of what no i mean i'm I'm happy with it because like i say you there's restaurants that are too much themed and there's and there's obviously no no theming and i think it's just, just the rice tastefully done and i think it's where yeah. the Floridians, well it doesn't go to disney <laughs> would go to like they have a restaurant for their saturday night or, or whatever yeah, maybe. so I, I think because we'd never been to Key West, I think that's why we sort of said, you know, it's not bad, it's just a nice nice atmosphere, it's not a nice space to be. Yeah. Rather than, rather than a big, I don't know, Elvis jacket on a, on a wall or something, you know. That was a dig <laughs> at Planet Hollywood. <laughs> no, it wasn't a dig, but it was just a, a, a point. <laughs> so for me, I don't. it's probably my fault more than the restaurant's fault, but because I don't really understand the theme in there, I'm going to give it a 3.5. Okay, and I, like, yeah, I, but like I said, I, I don't think it, it, it was just a nice place, and because we haven't been, I think that's, that's why we don't see the theme of it. But I think it's tastefully and, and nice done, so I gave it a 4. Fair. Okay. Okay, so next up is value for money. Yes. This one is one we always struggle with because yeah. it's difficult um, when you think that you're in a theme park, everything is always a little bit more expensive yeah, anyway. Course. And because 
we have the dining plan so we like to think of like if we were paying out of pocket yeah. would we be happy to pay for this and then also is it a good use of your dining plan yeah no, definitely. Um, so that's kind of what we've done so we both went for the arts famous fried chicken what's really strange because we don't normally go for the same stuff we don't but i think we both wanted to try fried chicken yeah and neither of us really wanted to be brave and have <laughs> the donuts no so that's what we went for and that was 28 dollars yes per piece like each but per meal yeah yeah um What's what is it? What is it? Twenty one pound ish, roughly. What's a lot really for fried chicken? A when, mash. When when you think about it, it is a lot. But then, like Emma said, you're in a theme park, um, and and you don't know what if what 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 you know if that's the right price for food. Ian. But then also, if you think so, like in the UK, we have gourmet burger. I don't know if you have it. The burgers are are fifteen pounds. Yeah. Which is really expensive for Absolutely. a burger but the burger quality and the flavors and you know the overall experience there is so much Absolutely. better that i happily go there absolutely and that's the so point i think that, that's what it is that's the point i was going to make if before i had the, the fried chicken i would have said well that's dear for fried chicken because now i've had it i'd be happy to pay that same as gourmet burger you think that's dear for, for a burger but because you had had it and you know how good it is you're happy to pay it yeah. So I, I think so I, for that because it's so good and so nice, I think that is like considering you're in a theme park as well. I think it is value for money. And the portion sizes are huge as well, so you're not going to go hungry. hungry. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, I think for the size and the quality, personally, I think it's value. For Absolutely. Money. The the cakes, if you were interested, were eleven dollars. Um, for the size of that cake, they could have charged thirty dollars. <laughs> for the size of that cake, you could have fed. Four at least on one on one slice of the white cake, and you'll get yeah. so eight people you would happily have <laughs> the two to share it. Yeah, so you're certainly not getting short chains on on, a, on a, the amount of food. Yeah. yeah, so I think out of pocket, although it is a little bit expensive, um, I think I I think it is value for money for that. I think yeah, like I said, forget, forget that it's just fried chicken. Um, I think it's for the quant quality of food and the amount of food you get. Uh, and the atmosphere, I think in total, uh, I think it is too, yeah, so I gave it a four. Oh, well, uh, the dining plan I was going to just Oh, sorry, quickly. yeah, sorry, yeah. Um, Sam gave it a four, <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> um, so, because we're on the dining plan, yeah. I also just wanted to mention whether we thought it was a good use of the dining plan credit. Um, so this is one table service credit. Yes. Um, I, I do think it's a good use. If oh. you compare it to... Um, even we both enjoyed the Rose and Crown, but if you compare it to the Rose and Crown, the quality of food and the amount of food you're getting at Chef Arts is um, yeah. worlds apart. Million, yeah, so. I definitely, I completely agree. Yeah, I, I mean, it is it is one of your best restaurants that I've been to this trip, um, and I don't take out like because we went to really nice ones. So it's certainly my top in my top three. You know, it's, it was a really nice, nice place, and like you said, that was a good hundred dollars if you didn't if you didn't have a mm -hmm. a dining a dining plan with drinks. So yeah, for that, I think it was a good a good use of a dining plan. So John, what score <laughs> do you give this? What do you reckon? I gave it a four. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I also yeah, I also gave it a four. I think the out of pocket price could be a little lower. Um, yeah, but. Is that high demand? It's always busy. I, why would they? I, I mean, I don't think it matters. I think you, you, you we talk on a couple of dollars here. Is it? You know, I think it's 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 about right for theme park. Yeah. Um. So would we go back? In a heartbeat. Yeah, it was one of my favourites. So I think yeah, it so. might make it into our circulation of restaurants <laughs> that we regularly That's go to. That's Yeah, but yeah, without a doubt, it was one of my favourites. Okay. So now it's time for our overall scores. Okay. My okay, yours was technically <laughs> four point four one. Okay, so mine was four point five. I think yours was four point five nine. <laughs> right, okay, so okay, right. I mean, we're splitting hairs, <laughs> <laughs> but just to give you the the real overall, um, because I did like it a little less than John. I, I Not a lot, but a little less. That that like you said before and earlier, I think that makes sense because you don't like it on a bone i i don't it doesn't it doesn't bother me and it's my type my type i would pick that normally you wouldn't so i think that scores 
Oh, but right. Yeah. So, yeah. So, let us know if you've been to <laughs> Chef Art's Homecoming and whether you have enjoyed it or not. And especially if you had the chicken and donuts because I'm <laughs> extra interested. I just want to quickly point out that we did have the hooch. You did. I had <laughs> the hooch. That is not for me. No, it started off actually you really liked it. Yeah. You really, so you really, really liked it. So you had the first couple of mouthfuls and you went, oh, I really like it. This is really nice. And then after a little <laughs> bit, it tasted a little bit like paint thinner. Yeah, but she still drank it. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah. You see, you bought one of them. Um, I was like a three ounce cup or something. I don't yeah. know what it was. <laughs> that was a mistake. But yeah, let us know if you've enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. And if you are still not subscribed, what are you doing? Click the little subscribe button and we will see you next, Absolutely. On the next video. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye.